Hey, it's David Bergman, and this is Two Minute Tips for Adorama TV. Today's tip is about something you can do with your pictures to really impress your clients or your friends. Send them a print. You know, there's really something special about the tactile experience of holding a print in your hands as opposed to just looking at hundreds of images and swiping away on a tablet or an iPhone or a computer. I can't tell you how many times I've sent a print to a client and then I run into them way later down the road and they say, oh my God, I love that picture I have it hanging on my wall. I see it every day. That is invaluable for my business. The first step in making a print is picking a really classy photo paper. I use matte paper for all my prints. I like 11 by 14 size. There are a lot of great papers out there. I happen to love the Red River Aurora Natural. It's got a feel that's like, there's no gloss to it. It's almost like printing on a piece of cardboard and it's just a really nice feel for a print. Of course, you also need a good photo printer to make your prints. I use the Canon Pro 1000, and it's great for printing those 11 by 14 matte photos, but there are a lot of great printers out there. The one that you pick is gonna really depend on the size print you're making, and of course, your budget. Lastly, I make my prints with a white border around the edge. It's kind of a classy look, but at the same time, it gives me room to write the date and the city, and also to sign my name. It just gives it a nice feel, and when the person gets it, they feel like I took the extra effort to hand personalize it for them. To sum up, remember, people love getting prints. It really is a good way to make yourself stand out from everybody else and make people remember the work that you did. Don't forget to use really great paper, get a photo printer that fits your budget and is appropriate for the size that you need, and sign it at the end to add that classy touch right before you put it in the mail. It's a bonus that once you start making prints, you'll be able to put them all over your wall and cover all the things you don't want people to see, like cracks and peeling paint. Hopefully you can't see any of them on my wall right behind me. Thanks for joining me today on Adorama TV. Don't forget to subscribe for more amazing videos. Follow me on social media at David Bergman and go to the Adorama Learning Center for lots of other great tips and tricks.